The stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, the man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hello, uh, Arkham Horror LCG fans. Uh, glad you could join me today for another stream on today's episode. We are uh, playing William Yorick. We are going to do some uh, testing with him. Let's take a look at the, uh, the deck right now. This is a deck based on, uh, start with the names, Nervous Wrecking Machine deck that is uh, over at uh, Arkham DB. Start with the name is uh, one of the uh, most prolific deck builders in the uh, Arkham Horror LCG community and is a, an excellent source of, uh, of ideas. If you are uh, struggling to build a deck of your own, I would highly recommend that you check out uh, what he's doing and his uh, write-ups are also just uh, simply fantastic. Um, all the information you could ever hope and uh, want to have if you are building a deck. Uh, I have certainly found uh, his decks uh, useful in the past, and uh, we are going to play a version of one of them today. This is the Nervous Wrecking Machine William York deck. We have, uh, basically this deck is a uh, police badge recursion deck that uses uh, a bunch of, uh, uses York's special, uh, his uh, special response in order to recycle police badge multiple times per game in order to uh, to really generate a lot of extra actions and he can use those actions to uh, for his uh, to boost his combat or his uh, somewhat uh, mediocre investigation if necessary uh, this deck uh, this is an experience point version of the deck this has 11 experience points in it uh, I, which means we're gonna have to add two weaknesses to our deck I was uh, considering going up to uh, not, uh, he recommends sort of going up to 21 by including two copies of the uh, Time Worn brand, but uh, I decided not to go that high. I like to stick around nine if possible. Uh, I probably could have included a few more uh, experience point cards to bring this up to at least 19 because that's the break point for uh, adding a third weakness. But uh, we're gonna stick with 11 today and see how it goes. This deck has uh, its experience point cards are, of course, the police badge, since that is central to our strategy. It also has a couple copies of Cornered. That's the uh, talent that allows you to discard a card to get plus two to your skill test. That's going to be extremely important for York's ability to, uh, to investigate, as well as hit some of those uh, higher fight enemies. We've also got... Uh, a copy of Relic Hunter in there just so that uh, William York can uh, can uh, use both the police badge and the cherished keepsake at the same time otherwise he'd have to pick that is not ideal so we have a one copy of cherished keepsake I probably could have replaced the luckies with lucky twos that would have uh, brought us up to 15 experience points but uh, we're just going with the straight luckies today we are set up and ready to go in Octagon. I was trying to think of a scenario that uh, I haven't played in a while that I enjoyed, so we are going to play uh, Blood on the Altar today. And uh, if there is time, I'm going to also uh, take another crack at the depths of Yoth. Uh, we can't beat that scenario in uh, standalone mode, of course, because uh, due to the nature of the scenario, but we will just uh, attempt to get as far as we can. So if we've got the time, we will play that scenario as well. We are, uh, so we have Yorick here with his uh, five resources. Uh, I have set up the uh, the board, so we've got the village common on the table as well as uh, the schoolhouse, uh, the house in the reeds, congressional church, or sorry, congregational church, as well as Bishop's Brook and Osborne's General Store. I do uh, enjoy every, I do enjoy playing this one uh, quite a bit. It's quite a, a fun, uh, a fun scenario. Uh, we have our uh, five sacrifices over here. So uh, hopefully we will be able to rescue as many of those as we can. 
Uh, we will uh, attempt to find the hidden chamber and the key and then uh, take down uh, Silas Bishop at some point uh, during this, uh, this game. We need to draw two weaknesses to, uh, to uh, start us off here. So let's uh, shuffle those up and see what we get. Uh, we have indebted, so that will just start in play, and we will have two fewer resources to start with. I forgot to mention this deck uh, that uh, start with the name built also has, uh, it uses take, uh, take Heart and Drawing Thin as its resource generation engine. So we'll be looking to, to see those cards at some point during the game, hopefully to uh, generate resources. And uh, we are certainly going to need them now that we are, are starting with Indebted, so we are starting with two fewer resources. Our second uh, weakness is going to be Amnesia. Choose and discard all but one card uh, from your hand. So the uh, classic core set weakness. All right, I think we are uh, set up and ready to go. Uh, it's been a while since I've played Yorick. Uh, I believe the last time I played him, I was playing a four-handed campaign through uh, the Path to Carcosa with Yorick Min... Uh, Mark Harrigan and Akachi, uh, they were doing extremely well uh, through that. Uh, Mark was handling most of the uh, enemy duties and seemed to be able to uh, to do uh, to kill pretty much anything that hit the table. So York uh, didn't seem to have a, a whole lot to do, but uh, I am looking forward to. I have played him solo a little bit uh, through some scenarios, but uh, he's not an investigator that I've played uh, a whole lot of, so I'm looking forward to seeing how he does today. All right, let's draw our opening hand and see how we are doing. Uh, see what we get to start off with today. Well, there's Amnesia. We'll get rid of that. There's a flashlight, that's going to be important. And we also have a police badge, which is uh, awesome. We've got a vicious blow. Our uh, signature asset, bury them deep. We can uh, add an enemy to the victory display. That's not going to be all that impactful considering we are playing in standalone mode. And uh, so we will... Uh, Hello, uh, the Night Fan One. I am playing Blood on the Altar today, and uh, if there's time, we're also going to take a crack at the Depths of Yoth to see uh, how this deck performs. Uh, I don't think I'm going to uh, use the Vicious Blow right now. We've got a Meat Cleaver, so there's a weapon. That's good to have. Uh, we will draw two cards. There's our Take Heart, and a Look What I Found. So... Uh, was hoping to see a drawing thin as well as the take cart, but uh, we'll just go with what we've got uh, so far. We, of course, start here at the Village Common. Three shroud locations, zero clues. We uh, have to, uh, it does have the game text resign. This is suicide. We're better off hiding out the night. Uh, we are not uh, going to be resigning uh, anytime soon. If you resign, everyone dies, and we are going to try to rescue as many of them as we can. So we've got a flashlight, a police badge, and a meat cleaver. That's awfully nice, but we don't have the resources to play all those right off the bat. So we are going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to pick one, and then we can play the other... So if we play the Meat Cleaver now, we won't be able to play the Flashlight until next next uh, next turn at least, and we'll need to take a, a resource. We're going to need to gather clues, and we do have a four fight, so I feel like we can sort of let the... I think the Flashlight is more important. We should get our three actions here. So our first action, we will play the Flashlight. And I think as our second action, we are going to take a resource so we can get that meat cleaver down next turn. And then we're going to move. Now we can go to squares, circles, and moons, which are any of these uh, three locations here. Uh, schoolhouse tends to be a pretty tough uh, investigate check, so let's try... 
let's go down to Bishop's Brook, I think, this time. So we will move there. Bishop's Brook is a three shroud location with two clues. If there is an investigator at Bishop's Brook, other investigators cannot enter it and as a free triggered ability. If there are no clues here, draw the encounter card underneath Bishop's Brook. Group limit once per game. So we will be, uh, our goal will be to gather those two clues right away and then uh, we'll see what this encounter card is uh, underneath here. We do have a look what I found. That's going to be very helpful. Uh, with a two shroud, with a three shroud location though, we could reduce that to one with our uh, flashlight. Uh, to, to fail by two, we need to draw, uh, we need to draw one at least. So we could only afford to draw a minus one. So maybe, maybe we'll give it a try and see. Maybe we can save some of our uh, flashlight charges for another turn. We draw as our, uh, in our uh, upkeep, we draw on the hunt. That is the, uh, the guardian event that lets you pull, uh, search the top nine cards of the encounter deck for an enemy and spawn it engaged with you instead of its normal spawn location. So that will give us a, uh, an enemy that we can fight and that will be uh, good once we get uh, that meat cleaver down. All right, I think we're ready to go to our first mythos phase. One of six, and we will draw our first encounter card, which is going to be, there is a sorted and silent, attached sorted and silent to your location at the end of the round. Each investigator at attached location takes one horror and uh, when the agenda advances, discard Sorted and Silent. So if we hang out here too long, we will start taking Horror. So we need to investigate. I'm not too, I'm not overly concerned about taking a Horror here. We have a couple things we need to do. I do want to get down the, uh, the Meat Cleaver first off. So we have a weapon available to us in case we do start to draw enemies or we want to draw them with our on the hunt. Hello, Pluttercal, welcome to the, the stream. You haven't missed very much. We uh, just started, I am playing a William York deck uh, based on a deck built by Start With A Name over at Arkham DB. This is a police badge recursion deck with uh, drawing thin and uh, take heart for resource generation. So we are going to uh, to try to uh, to abuse our police badge if we can. Uh, what are we doing here? Okay, we played our police. We played our. Uh, we have two actions left. So and we have no resources. So we have to either. We don't have the resources to play. Look what I found. However, we could get some resources if we fail a skill test. So I'm going to commit, I'm going to investigate, and I'm going to commit take heart. So we are basically uh, assuming we are going to fail this skill test. We are a two versus three. Chaos bag says minus one. So we do, in fact, fail this skill test. And we get to draw two cards and gain two resources thanks to take heart. There is a second wind. And another look what I found. And we do gain two resources. All right, now we have the resources we need to play a look what I found. So we would need a minus one in order to, uh, a zero or a minus one would be enough. So let's investigate again. Zero or minus one is what we're looking for. Chaos Bay gives us a minus three, so that's going to be too uh, too much. So we will fail. Uh, at the end of the round, we take a horror due to Sorted and Silent. So we go to the upkeep. We draw a resourceful. That's uh, going to be helpful. We can get that take heart back into our hand so we can play it again, hopefully. And at the end of the round, we will take a horror. Uh, there we go. Now to second wind, 
The second wind is damage, is it not? Yes, it is. Okay, so we haven't taken any damage, and I'm not sure we are going to take any in the short term. All right, well, we go to our next... Uh, we go to uh, the Mythos phase. We will draw another encounter card, which is going to be Unhallowed Country. We put it into play in our threat area. Uh, you cannot play ally assets. Treat the printed text box, of, text box of each ally asset you control as if it were blank, and at the end of your turn, test three willpower. Uh, if you succeed, discard Unhallowed Country. So we will need, uh, what is our willpower here? Three, so we can commit this police badge to pass this test and then recycle it using, uh, once we defeat an enemy, uh, we could pull an enemy with on the hunt. So we may want to consider doing something like that. Uh, the police badge is gonna be three resources though. So we're gonna need, we are going to need some resources to, uh, to get that uh, down. All right, well, we are going to uh, try to use our look what I found to grab these clues. So we're looking for a zero or a minus one. Chaos Bag gives us a minus two. We will try again. Chaos Bag gives us a skull. That is going to be a minus one for each location in play with no encounter card underneath it. So that will just be the village common. So that is a minus one. So we are one versus three. So now we can play that uh, look what I found in order to grab those two clues. Now we want, we've only got one action remaining. Normally I wouldn't peek at this card. Oh, it is a free triggered ability. So we can look here. Let's look at this card. It's an eager for death. Test two willpower, increase this skill test difficulty by one for each damage on you. If you fail, you take two horror. Not eager to take two horror here. So let's commit the police badge to get that into our discard pile so we can replay it later. Uh, we will go five versus two. Chaos bag gives us a minus one, so we do pass. So we have not found the key or the hidden chamber yet. We have one action remaining. Now Osborne's general store tends to be the one where you can't generate resources and we do sort of need resources at the moment. So I'm thinking we will go to blue. Okay, so we, can, we actually have to go there. We can't go from Bishop's Brook to uh, all right, well, we're going to move away. We will move up to Osborne's. Maybe this is the Osborne's that doesn't uh, nerf our resource generation. No, nope, you cannot gain resources while you're at Osborne's general store. So uh, unfortunately, that is not going to help us get our... Uh... But it's a two-shroud location with one clue, so that's, uh, that's definitely prime a prime target for our flashlight. Uh, we will, uh, that's when the agenda advances, we discard that, so that's fine. So we cannot generate resources, so we do have one resource, and we're going to get another one. So that goes away, and we draw our weakness. There are the graveyard ghouls. William York deck, they are 3-3 three, three, and a 2 for evade. Hunters, while they are engaged with you, cards cannot leave your discard pile. Fortunately, we do have the meat cleaver. Uh, if we have, uh, we get plus 1 for our attacks. We're at 5. Unfortunately, we, uh, we may take a horror to deal an additional damage. So we may end up doing that this turn just to... Uh, Otherwise, it's going to take us three full actions to kill the Graveyard Ghouls, and uh, I'm not uh, eager to, for that. So we may take a horror here with the Meat Cleaver just so we can uh, speed that process up a little bit. All right, we go to the Mythos phase. We add a Doom, so we're at three of six, and we draw our encounter card, which is going to be Psychopomp's Song. It's Surge and Peril. 
Oh, I forgot about this thing. We need to uh, we need to test for unhallowed country at the end of your turn. Test three. So we are going three three. Let's just see how we do. Oh, we get an elder sign. Look at that. Uh, effect plus two. We can, uh, if this test is successful, return one card from your discard pile to your hand. Well, I will take. Uh, I'm going to take the take heart back because we will need to generate some resources and this goes away all right psycho pomp song surge peril we add it to our threat area and when we would take a damage we take two additional damage not overly concerned about that but it does surge into another unhallowed country well 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 all right So we got rid of one unhallowed country just to draw a second one. <clears throat> so we will have to deal with that. We have our graveyard ghouls we need to deal with this turn. We will gain our three actions. So we will fight them. And as an additional attack, as an additional cost, we will take a horror to have us deal plus one damage. So we are five versus three. The chaos bag says tentacle. <sighs> All right, well, that, uh, that was not good. However, we can take an additional, uh, if we take another horror, we could, I think we're we're right on the bubble of getting that plus two. So if we, as an additional cost, we'll take another horror here. So now we only have three or three or fewer remaining sanity. So we actually get plus two. So we're up to six versus three. So let's attack the ghouls again. Chaos bag gives us a minus three. So good thing we got that to extra plus one out of that. Uh, so we just hit them for two damage. And we will do it one more time. And hi, Ben. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I am playing uh, a William York deck based on a deck built by uh, Start With a Name over at Arkham DB. It's a police badge recursion deck with uh, using uh, Take Heart and Drawing Thin for resource generation. Uh, we just got started. Uh, we grabbed a couple clues at Bishop's Brook, and now we are dealing with the Graveyard Ghouls. Uh, we have drew a tentacle once this turn, so we are going to fight them again. We do get the plus, one, uh, plus two damage here, or sorry, plus two combat. So we are again at six versus three, and the Chaos Bag says Cultist. That's a minus two, so we do kill them. And we, when we defeat an enemy, we heal a horror. So that uh, worked out well. All right, it is the end of our turn. So we have this unhallowed country to deal with. Now, you cannot gain resources while we're at Osborne, so we can't really commit anything to this. Uh, we can't commit our take heart, mind you, because we won't get the resources. That's a bit of a waste. So let us throw... We'll just go three versus three, I believe. Chaos Bag gives us a minus three, so we do fail that. We don't have an ally right now. I believe the only ally in the deck is a guard dog, and we have not seen it yet, so the unhallowed country isn't uh, hurting us all that badly at the moment. Uh, we go to the enemy phase. We draw another resourceful. All right, well, we've got, uh, we can draw, let's see what's in our, uh, we do have a liquid I found in there, but uh, we don't need that right now. All right, let's add a doom, four of six. Our encounter card is going to be the Whooper Wills. Here they come. That's okay. Uh, we can still grab this clue. We don't gain our resource here, of course, because we're at Osborne's. 
yeah resourceful is amazing ben it's i think pretty much a two of in every uh, every survivor deck it's just so just too good uh we've got the whipper wills to deal with and uh they are they are going to reduce our investigate or our intellect by uh, one to zero to one but we do have the flashlight so we can reduce this uh, Osborne's to a zero. So let's uh, investigate. And we draw a second tentacle. That's two for you, those of you keeping track at home. And that is basically the only way we could have failed that skill test. So we will have to waste another uh, flashlight charge to try again. Chaos Bag gives us a Skull. That's going to be a minus two because we now have two locations in play that have no encounter cards underneath them. But we do uh, get this clue anyway. Free Triggered Ability. Let's see what's under this thing. There's the key to the chamber. All right, we found the key. We have the key, and then we have one action remaining so we can move away up to the schoolhouse. Schoolhouse is a four shroud location with one clue. You cannot discover clues here except by investigating. Wow, this is going to be that's going to be tough for uh, for Yorick. Uh, we are going to need to get uh, very lucky indeed. Uh, with a two uh, intellect, we're going to need a flashlight charge as well as as some uh, to commit some cards to this in order to uh, to succeed here. So that's going to be rough. And we've got the whooper wills to deal with as well because they are going to move. So we may need to engage these whooper wills and kill them. Normally, I don't really care about them all that much, but. Uh, this location is going to be very hard to investigate for Yorick with the Whooper Wills uh, flying around. So we may take a turn to uh, deal with them. Upkeep phase, we draw another police badge. Uh, we are almost... Uh, we can gain a resource, engage the Whooper Wills, kill them, and then play our police badge from our discard pile. Uh, we need to test for Unhallowed Country, three versus three again. There is the third tentacle of the game. So the tentacle is uh, very popular, this uh, particular game, with three uh, so far, and we're only four turns in. So, yes, if we... Uh, if we gain a resource, engage the Whooper Wills, kill them, and then we can play our... Uh, we've got enough resources to play the police badge from our discard pile. All right, it is the Mythos phase. Five of six. We will draw. There is a Night Gaunt. Okay. That changes our plans slightly. Well, that's I hope so, Plitterkal, but uh, I don't I don't think the tentacle cares whether it's the beginning of the game or the end. I always seem to draw it at the end, so drawing it at the beginning means I'm probably just going to draw it at the end as well. So we've got a night gaunt to deal with now. This will be uh, we can take a horror in order to deal a couple damage to this guy. Uh, but we are going to be a four. We're only going to be a five combat. Five versus three. So that's that's all right. It's not amazing. Uh, okay, well, let's attack. We will take a horror with the meat cleaver to give us plus one damage 
and plus, uh, so we are at a five versus three. The chaos bag will give us a zero. So we will deal two damage to the Night Gaunt. Let's do it again. Uh, I really want to defeat this uh, enemy here. So I'm going to take another horror. We're really uh, cutting it close, but if we do defeat the Night Gaunt here, we will clear it. Uh, I'm going to commit on the hunt, I think. One, two, three. That takes the skulls out of the bag. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, six versus three. Chaos Bag gives us an Elder Sign. Hey, all right, we didn't need that. So we defeat the Night Gaunt. We get to heal a Horror with the Meat Cleaver. We get to also trigger... Um, if this test is successful, we get to draw one, we get to return one card from your discard pile to your hand. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got. Uh, we've got a police badge. We're not in a position to play the, I'm gonna pull the police badge back. Just so, or no, 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 I don't want the police badge. I want the, uh, I want the liquid I found because I need those two uh, intellect skill icons for the test at the... Uh... So we have one action remaining. Um, hmm. We need a resource. It's not really worth taking a resource because we're going to get one anyway. I don't really want to investigate, although I could play take heart and fail the test and that would get us resources and cards. So maybe we'll do that. Don't really have anything better to do. Chaos bag will give us a minus two. So we do fail. So we gain two cards and two resources. So. There's our guard dog, and there is our vicious blow. All right, so we've got a full hand, a very full hand. We need to test for unhallowed country. Now that we've got our guard dog out, it might be worthwhile getting rid of this. Uh, we could commit the police badge since we're planning to get it back next. Uh, we're gonna play one from our discard pile next turn. Uh, we will go, uh, we are a five versus three. Chaos bag says zero. So we get rid of this unhallowed country. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Since the whooper wills are hanging out with us, we draw a corner. That's very nice to see. That will give us plus two on our skill tests once we can discard cards and we've got a full hand, so we are in very good shape there. All right, we're just going to the mythos phase. Six of six, so this will flip. We will flip this over. If there are three or more potential sacrifices, choose one at random and uh, place it underneath the agenda deck. So we will go to our sacrifices, shuffle those up and it will be this one. Put that underneath the agenda deck and we advance to our next agenda. Nothing changes, it's just the old one's hunger. So six, we're trying to beat this scenario before we lose all of our, as and save as many of the sacrifices as we can. So uh, we're one down already, but uh, I don't think I've ever beaten this scenario and saved all of them, so. Uh, we need to draw an encounter card. That's going to be a kidnapped test for willpower or for agility. If you fail, we add an ally asset we control to the pool of potential sacrifices, then attach kidnapped to the current agenda. If you have no allies, take two damage and discard kidnapped instead. So it's a four or a four. We've got threes in either one. Not good. 
So I think we're going to take a pile of damage here because of the Psychopomp song. So we will just go... Hmm. I guess we're just going to go four, uh, three versus four. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, we've drawn... What, three tentacles and three elder signs. So we're we're running about even there. We do get an elder sign, which uh, saves our bacon against the kidnapped. We do get to draw a card, uh, return a card from our discard pile to our hand. Uh, we might as well pull back this police badge. And because we already have one in our discard pile... And so we can also play this police badge uh, later in the game for another plus two uh, willpower if necessary. So good stuff there. All right, William, let's uh, deal with these birds first off. We will engage them as our first action. Uh, we don't need to do any uh, shenanigans with the... Uh, the meat cleaver, we already have three or fewer remaining sanity, so we are plus two. So we are going to be a five versus two to chop up these birds. Chaos Bag gives us a minus three. That is fine by me. So we kill the birds. We get to heal a sanity uh, with the, or heal a horror with the meat cleaver. Boy, Meat Cleaver is amazing. Uh, being able to bounce. get to that We just get to that sweet spot uh, between 2 and 3, and we can add a, add a horror and heal a horror uh, as we kill enemies. We also get to trigger uh, William's special ability, his response, so we can play an asset from our discard pile. So let's play the... We'll play three resources to get our police badge. So we get to play that. Hey, Crazy Gamer. Welcome to the stream. I'm playing William York, recurring, uh, trying to recur uh, uh, abuse police badge as much as I can. So far, we're, we're doing okay. We've killed a Night Gaunt, our signature uh, weakness, the Graveyard Ghouls, and we just polished off a uh, some Whipper Wills. Now we are going to investigate this location. So we need to commit. We need to do some big uh, committing here. Uh, or we could wait it. We could play our cornered and wait a turn. Yeah, let's play. Whoop. Let's play the cornered instead. That gives us we can commit. We can discard a card. To. Uh, to give us another plus two. And that will be our turn. So next turn we're going to grab this clue and uh, hopefully we will find the... Uh, uh, nothing in the enemy phase. We draw... There's our drawing thin. We need to discard a card. Um, the second wind isn't, uh, isn't doing us much good, so we will discard that. Yeah, so far this deck has been just chugging along. The Meat Cleaver has been really, uh, really excellent, uh, being able to to take the take the horror to give us the damage and then heal it when we kill an enemy, and then of course when we kill an enemy we get to trigger uh, Yorick's response as well. We go to the Mythos phase. One of six. We draw an Ancient Evils. Easy enough. All right, we get our three actions. So now we are going to try to deal with this uh, location. Yeah, Meat Cleaver, I would highly recommend it. It is, uh, it's really doing a number here for me. We'll use our flashlight to reduce the shroud value by two. We will commit a look what I found for another plus two. And that will give us, we are, four versus two. Uh, we will play that, I think, to go 
six versus two. That should be good enough if the Chaos Bag cooperates. Chaos Bag gives us a minus one, so we do grab that clue. All right, that was our first action. We get to look at this as a free triggered ability. It is the hidden chamber. All right, well, we found where, uh, where Silas is. We can uh, put the hidden chamber into play. Uh, and then I think we just attach the key to it as a, yeah, as a free triggered ability. So now we can deal with Silas if we wish. Uh, we have, we will start to chopping at Silas next turn, I think. You tried the Wendy deck that I played on Friday and she didn't make it twice. Well, yeah, that was a, I'm surprised she made it myself. So it, that's a pretty tough uh, scenario with, uh, without being able to kill anything. Uh, we're going to play Drawing Thin in there. Yeah, the, the, the Pallid Mask is a pretty fun scenario, uh, whether you're winning or losing. So now we can increase the difficulty of the skill test to gain some more cards and resources. We've got our police badge, so we can add... Uh, we can take two additional actions. That's going to be very helpful against Silas. Um, we have one action remaining. We don't have the resources to play... Uh, to play anything. Now, if I draw... If I draw a card, we've got Amnesia as our weakness, which would be, uh, hello Hero Logic, welcome to the stream, glad you could make it today. Yeah, Drawing Thin, uh, if you can get it in into play with co in combination with Take Heart, you get to bring the Take Heart back to your hand after you fail a skill test, and you so you get... Uh, I believe it's two cards and two resources for the take heart and then another card and two or two resources for uh, drawing thin. So you can you can really generate a pile of uh, resources and cards if necessary. You do have to fail a skill test, which is not uh, that will set your tempo back a little bit. But uh, I think I'm just going to take a resource uh, because what I would like to do uh, we may end up with another Night Gaunt when we flip this house in the reeds, so we need to uh, be prepared for that. Uh, this actually is gone. I should, the uh, Sorted and Silent gets uh, tossed when we, when we advance the agenda. All right. Uh, we've got nothing else to worry about. Uh, we get our cherished keepsake. There's some extra extra sanity for us. Uh, we're doing okay in the sanity department. We will add a doom and draw an encounter card, which is going to be another kidnapped. So again, we're testing four willpower or four agility. We're going to use this uh, police badge that we have handy to uh, boost us up. How much damage do we take if this triggers? We take two damage plus another, two, so we take four damage. I'm not uh, crazy about that. So we have four willpower because of our police badge. We will add uh, two more, so we are at six versus four. Chaos bag says minus three, ouch, 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 ouch. So that will trigger. Uh, we will take four damage. And the Psycho Pomp song goes away now. Well, we tried, and it didn't quite work out for us. So we are going to, whoops, we are going to advance um, when we enter the hidden chamber. So we can take five actions this turn if necessary. 
Um, let's see. Uh, so we advance when we enter the hidden chamber. So we just move in. So we will take an action to move in. Whoops. All right, so now we advance and the fun begins. All right, uh, we advance to Act 1B. What was hidden? We reveal each unrevealed location. So let's do that now. So we draw the house in the reeds. We have to go find ourselves a night gaunt. That's uh, what I was worried about. So where does it come from? Yeah, you can do that as well. You can just investigate a location with no clues to get the uh, the cards and resources if you want. Uh, so we put a clue here. Not that we're going to uh, be investigating very much. And we need to go get a Night Gaunt. Where does the Night Gaunt come from? Encounter deck. So if one of these is a Night Gaunt, we won't uh, find a Night Gaunt. That would be nice. But that seems pretty uh, pretty unlikely. There is a night gaunt right there. So he spawns at the village common. Uh, yep, yeah, that's all that we have to worry about there. Okay, and now we have to... How useful is William's ability? It's very... Uh, I've, I mean, I've played my police badge with it this turn, so, so far, so good. Um, I might, if I can kill this Night Gaunt, then I will get that police badge back. So getting two police badges per game would be uh, very, uh, would be very good. Uh, so we'll just have to see how this all, all shakes down. We also flip over Congregational Church. We have to find a humanoid enemy and spawn it at the village commons, and it has a clue. Uh, so we will go and find a humanoid. Those are the uh, these chumps, the uh, servant of many mouths. All right, and then I think we have to just move all the clues, move all clues in play to the hidden chamber. So we have four on us. And then two more. So six clues in all. Hi, John, welcome to the stream. Yeah, we can get the we can definitely get that uh, that police badge back. Now we have to spawn uh, Silas. So Silas comes forward. He has six health and cannot make attacks of opportunity. So will we be able to? Can we kill him in a round if we take four actions? We could. Two, four, six. Actually, we could kill him. Yeah, we could kill him in a round if we pitch the. We'd have to take a bunch of horror, though, which would be. Ah, uh, we've got a vicious blow. There's three damage. Now, uh, we may not need another turn. Let's see how the attacks go, and then. Uh, we can decide whether we want to go for Gusto and try to kill him this round. Uh, so we have two actions remaining. We may uh, take a horror. So we're, we can uh, trigger the uh, Meat Cleaver's ability again. So we're at plus two and we're dealing an extra damage. We are gonna spend our Vicious Blow uh, commit our vicious blow. So now we are at uh, seven versus three. Uh, that should be good because they're the skulls are minus fours. So that should be okay there. Seven versus three for three damage. Chaos bag says zero. Yes, the uh, I. 
I haven't actually tried the, the knife throwing version of Yorick. Uh, I think I was planning on it when it uh, first came out, but I, uh, I had started a four-handed campaign with Yorick, Mark, Min, and Akachi, and uh, so I was playing a different build of Yorick. So we uh, so far, I'm really liking the uh, the meat cleaver though. It's uh, it's really uh, really doing an amazing job. Now we have one action remaining, so we can either leave and go deal with this uh, hunting night gaunt, or we can just keep hacking away here. Uh, if we if we uh, trigger the police badge. Uh, we can go, we get two more actions this turn. So now we've got three actions. We can actually just hit him three times and we could probably kill him. Can we survive an attack from him? Two horror puts us at five of six and we've certainly got the damage to do it. So let's uh, let's go for it. We will attack with the meat cleaver. We are a six versus three. We will commit a card with cornered to go uh, eight versus three. Chaos bag says skull. There's that minus four. That uh, would have hurt a lot, but we do hit him anyway. So there's one damage. Now we can kill him this turn if we take a horror. I, I like her chances. We'll take a horror to, to boost the meat cleaver. Are there any investigators you haven't tried out yet or what's your least played? Uh, that's uh, Pletterkel asking. Um, that is a very good question. I have not played Carolyn. Yeah, yeah, I can uh, welcome witch.com. The uh I'm going to just probably uh No, I've actually played Calvin quite a bit uh, vase. That's a good question. I haven't played Carolyn. I've played Joe a couple of times. Uh who's in this cycle? Uh, I've played Rita, I've played Preston. I haven't played Carolyn. I've played uh, so that played Min. Yeah, it would be Carolyn is the one that I haven't played. And actually, I should play her on stream because I know she's uh, Vase's, uh, one of Fa Vase's favorite uh, investigators and I would really like to try her out. Yeah, I... I, I yeah, there's... Yorick has to put uh, Silas out of his misery. He doesn't have the intellect to... Uh, So, what was the other, uh, there was a question, uh, Calvin's one of the few investigators who's made me want to rage quit. Uh, he's had some very uh, rough games, just because I think I played him through, through the, uh, the Forgotten Age, the, uh, the first scenario in that, like three times, three or four times, and I drew... Uh, the uh, the one that uh, the canopy or whatever it is on the expedition site like three times in a row like first card and I just I couldn't get past it uh, we'll take a horror and uh, we will just chop down uh, Silas here throw a resourceful to it so again we are a, a six seven eight versus three that should be more than enough but it is the end of the game. You know it's the end of the game, and you know what the end of the game means? Tentacles. That's what it means, if I'm playing at least. So, uh, who would I recommend as a, a play for a Forgotten Age? I would play Finn. I would like to play Finn through the Forgotten Age, because I think he'd do really well. Uh, I've played Ursula through the Forgotten Age. She did all right. Uh, she struggled uh, quite a bit on uh, the Doom of Estley. 
Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, I like Finn because he's got a high intellect and he's got high agility. And uh, during uh, the Forgotten Age, you don't always want to kill enemies, so having that ability to evade them is very uh, handy. So I drew my uh, my characteristic endgame tentacle. So we've got one action remaining. So we either go for it and kill Silas or we die uh, this turn. Hmm. Do I play it safe or do we just go for it? I'm just going to go for it. What the hell? We will pitch the cherished keepsake. So we are going... Uh, uh, we need to take another horror to do the two damage, so we will go a four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. Chaos bag says minus two, and we defeat Silas. That was close. That uh, we would have had to draw two tentacles in a row, which is certainly uh, within the realm of possibility for me. When the end game rolls around, but uh, that time we it paid off. So uh, yep, police badge earned its uh, earned its money there. Gave us the two extra actions we needed in order to kill Silas in one turn, and uh, that's pretty. Uh, any card that does that is uh, is worth it in my book. Uh, Meat cleaver, really good card. Uh, uh, taking the horror isn't uh, fantastic. Yeah, I would have. I would have probably just laughed as well, because I mean, at that point, pulling two tentacles in a row, I don't know what the odds of of that are, but uh, they're pretty remote, and uh, we were at a minus five, so I don't think there's anything that uh, there's certainly nothing in the chaos bag besides the tentacle that would have beat us there. So yeah, good. Uh, a very uh, very well-built deck uh, by start with the name but uh, i wouldn't expect anything less from one of uh, the arkham horror lcg's preeminent deck builders he's got a ton of decks over at arkham db if you're looking for something to play he has probably built something and he tends to build a lot of his decks for with a uh, hard mode in mind so uh, uh he often uh He's playing on a, a higher level of difficulty, so his decks, uh, once you bring them back down to, to standard difficulty, you should be in uh, pretty good shape. I'm going to reset things, and we are going to take a run at the Depths of Yoth. I haven't played that one in a while. Uh, we can't beat it, of course, in standalone, but we can certainly uh, see how deep we can go. Just uh, need to mark down for myself how uh, how many turns it took us. I always, uh, when I'm recording my games, I always write down how many turns it took us to uh, to finish it, just to try to get an idea as to how how long scenarios take. Typically, it's around ten. Is uh, ten to twelve seems to be the typical length of a game. And uh, I usually write down any other noteworthy things that happened. Just uh, I don't I haven't gone back and, and really looked at. Uh, sometimes I go back and look and see uh, see how a certain investigator did or whether there were any uh, games that I particularly liked. Uh, that was a pretty good one as far as uh, as far as games go, York. Uh, Took his time and and did uh, extremely well. Now let's see how we do against something a little tougher. This is the depths of Yoth. So we are just going to play, I believe, as though there are. Where's my Forgotten Age set up here? We're just going to play it as though there are one to five tally marks. So we're not going to change anything. We're just going to see how deep we can go, see how long uh, Yorick can last before the game simply crushes him. 
so we need to grab a location, set aside the 10 single-sided locations. We draw one other than the steps of Yoth, then we set up the encounter deck with the steps of Yoth and the four remaining locations. So there's the steps. So we will f uh, flip these over. So we are starting at the Hall of Heresy. Hall of Heresy is a four shroud location with one clue. That's uh, rough. While an investigator is in Hall of Heresy, it is considered to be in the victory display for purposes of counting vengeance, and it is worth vengeance too. So we need four locations. And the depths of Yoth. All right. Throw those up there. And I think we're ready to go. So Depths of Yoth is, Agenda 1A is The Descent Begins. It's a three shroud location. Act 1A is Journey to the Nexus, which has the ability, if there are no clues on your location, explore, draw the top card of the exploration deck. If it is a connecting location, we put it into play and move to it. At the end of the round, if investigators at Steps of Yoth possess the requisite number of clues, they may advance. We need three clues. And uh, getting three clues at a four shroud location is going to be pretty rough. Let's throw our hand back in because we have to add two weaknesses. Our first weakness is the Mob Enforcer. And the second weakness is Doomed. We're not going to use that one. That's the campaign. And we get the 13th Vision. I haven't played with this one before. Uh, we fail ties during skill tests. We have to take two actions to get rid of it. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's shuffle up our deck. Draw five cards. We get a drawing thin, a meat cleaver, a cornered, a guard dog, and a look what I found. I think that's a pretty good hand. I uh, really like that hand. We've got a weapon, we've got drawing thin, and we've got uh, We've got an ally, and we've got a look what I found, so we can grab some clues. Uh, don't really want to do it here at the Halls of Heresy. Um, this could be tough, though. We're going to need to... What are we going to need to grab this clue here? A lot of intellect icons, or... Or... A flashlight, but we could fail a couple tests with drawing thin. Maybe draw into it. Or we could just draw. We're not going to. Drawing thin doesn't really get us much. What's What nastiness does this have to hold? Uh, the cultists are. Each serpent enemy at your location or connecting location heals two damage. We reveal another token if you fail. Place a clue on your location. That's pretty rough. And so we just don't want to be failing tests willy-nilly here, or we could end up in a lot of trouble. Okay. Well, let's get our meat cleaver down. So we're probably going to need a combination of Look What I Found and a flashlight and or cornered to do this. So we'll grab, we'll put cornered down. So now we're, if we need to intellect, investigate, we can get to 4-4, four, four, we can get to 6-4. 
with the uh, so yeah that's pretty favorable for us going 6-4 and then we're just going to draw a card I think because we need some cards to pitch to uh, there is our weakness again alright well we are going to take a damage and a horror because of that when they attack us. Upkeep phase, we get a resourceful. So, no flashlight. Go to the mythos phase, we add a doom. And we draw the serpent's ire. If there are no serpent enemies in pursuit, it gains surge. That's easy enough to deal with. Children of Volusia. Put children into Volusia into play next to the agenda deck. Each serpent enemy gets plus one fight and evade. At the end of the round, discard one copy of Children of Volusia. So no, no big deal there. We just need to deal with the graveyard ghouls and we are good to go. All right, let's kill these ghouls to start off with. We will take a horror, I think. So we are at, um, we only get plus one. So we're at five versus three. There's a plus one, so we do two damage. And now we can just hit it for a regular uh, one more time. We don't need to commit anything. So we can go uh, five versus three again. We get an Elder Sign. Okay, that's plus two, and we get a card from our discard pile. We have no cards in our discard pile, so we will simply get rid of the Graveyard Ghouls. We have one action remaining. Uh, we still don't have a lot of good cards to discard to... Uh, So I'm going to get our drawing thin down. And that will be our turn. Nothing in the enemy phase. There's another copy of Cornered. That will be uh, pitched to Cornered. Likely. I don't think we need two copies. We go to the Mythos phase. Let's draw a card. Low on supplies. All right, that's going to, we lose two resources or we take a damage. Uh, I don't mind taking a damage. Uh, we've already taken two. I want to keep my resources so I can get my uh, guard dog down. All right, let's try to clear this location. So we are going to go, we will commit the liquid I found, we will toss the cornered to cornered. So we are going two, four, six versus four. Uh, that should be okay. We've got a couple reveal another token in there, but we'll just have to see how we do. Um, oh man. That's rough. If we miss that, though, we've pretty much... I'm going to go three up. We'll go seven versus four. Chaos Bay gives us a minus one. Okay, so we do succeed regardless. So we grab this clue. All right, let's go explore. There is the Steps of Yoth. Is it connected? Hash marks. Hash marks. Okay, that's not going to help us a whole lot because we need three clues in order to... Uh... We need three clues in order to, uh, to advance the depth. So that's not going to help us. 
Yeah, thanks, Juicy. I uh, I changed it around for you so it uh, so it's a little easier. So the uh, I didn't realize I I should have known that the cards were being hidden behind the chat in my face. Uh, I think I was trying to find a way to avoid that and then uh, ended up doing it anyway. So uh, now that that's fixed, uh, you should be able to see the cards perfectly. We're gonna go explore again. Because uh, we need more clues. So we get... What's this doing in there? Did I draw from the wrong one? I must have. All right. All right, let's uh, draw... Uh, we explore, we find the forked path. Uh, tease. No, it's not connected. The, oh, the crumbling precipice. Yes, the crumbling precipice is connected. We move to the crumbling precipice. Okay, so when you attempt to explore while at Crumbling Precipice, test four, willpower. If you fail, test three, agility. If you fail, test two, two, combat. And if you fail, you fall to your death and are killed. So uh, not uh, we do not want that to happen. So we may actually have to head back to uh, to this other place and see if we can't explore and find a location because I don't want to explore from here. All right. We draw a cherished keepsake. We add a doom. Three of three, we are advancing. Uh, we find an en find the enemy that is in pursuit with the highest evade value and spawn it in the location where the investigators began at this depth level. There are no enemies in pursuit. How does this pursuit area work again? Do enemies... Some cards in the scenario reference an area called the pursuit. Okay, I don't think they... Oh, they moved to the pursuit area when they... Hello, Aegis. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. We are playing the Depths of Yoth with a William York deck that uh, tries to recur police badge and uses Drawing Thin and uh, Take Heart for resource generation. It was built by Starts with a Name over at Arkham DB. Uh, we are in the Mythos phase, so we just draw an encounter card, which is going to be another Children of Elusia. That's fine. So we get our three actions. We're going to move. We're going to move back to the Steps of Yoth. Now we drew the T, which doesn't, which connects to Hall of Heresy but we don't know what one of the other locations are. So let's explore. We get the Bright Canyon. Can we go to the Bright Canyon? No, we cannot. Okay. City of Serpents, the diamond. Yes, we can go to there. Yoink. Uh, yes, Crazy Gamer, there is a police badge. There is... A... Actually, we should just take a quick break. I know a lot of people have joined the stream since uh, I started, so we this would be a good time to take another look at the deck that we are playing here. This is uh, the deck. It's got uh, flashlight and liquid eye found for clues. We've got meat cleaver and the enchanted blade. Enchanted Blade for damage. Uh, we've got uh, the Police Badge, obviously, that we want to try to recur as many times as we can. We've got Cornered for skill tests. We've got a copy of Track Shoes for movement. And, of course, Lucky. 
on the hunt so we can draw enemies and we've got resourceful and uh, take heart and vicious blow in there. So we've got the police badge for recursion, flashlight and look what I found to gather clues and of course drawing thin and take heart to, uh, to generate some economy. So we, uh, that is what we are at. Hope your luck is better than mine. Just lost to the finale of Return of the Night of the Zealot on turn four. Ouch. Yeah, drew the worst enemies back to back. That, uh, that can certainly happen, Aegeus, on, uh, on uh, the Devourer below. It can get uh, very rough very quickly. Uh, while City of Serpents has no clues on it, it is considered to be in the victory display for purposes of counting vengeance. Uh, so we have, whoops, we have one clue there. And we have one action. Boy, these uh, the shroud locations here are, are rough. Three shroud. And we don't have a... Uh, we need to get uh, some more cards so we can... Let's just draw a card here. There's a look what I found. Okay. That's all right. We will go to the upkeep and we draw an on the hunt. Uh, that's... What do we have in our discard pile? Is it worth pulling an enemy? got a resourceful and a look what I found there so we don't have anything worthwhile playing all right one out of three we will draw an encounter card oh this guy is terrible the eater of depths five uh, combat six health and uh, X uh, evade monster spawn put it random set aside location into play and spawn the uh, spawn the eater of depths there uh, he is hunter and massive and X is the current depth level so he's easy to evade and hard to kill let's uh, throw all of these cards into a deck Shuffle those up, and he spawns at the bridge over Nakai. So we have something chasing us, and it's a big something, and it's going to be hard to kill. And we are pretty... I think York might be a bit too slow in the clue department for this one. Three shroud locations. Uh, this one has a one shroud, a two shroud location with plus with one clue. It gets plus one shroud for each vengeance point in the victory display, uh, and that is going to be, ooh, that's nasty because the halls of heresy. Uh, actually, the serpent, the city of serpents, will count as long as it has no clues on it. All right, we need to deal with this guy. How do we do that? Uh, guard dog would be helpful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that uh, your your wife is uh, correct. This game can be a pretty mean, crazy gamer when uh, when you're drawing encounter cards like the Eater of Depths. Uh, he is going to be tough to kill with a meat cleaver for sure. Uh, the best we can get to is six, six versus five. Hmm. We have the resources to play our guard dog. So let's see where this is. This connected to us. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, so we don't have to worry about this guy this turn. He is going to move uh, probably. Uh, 
he needs to go crumbling precipice uh, no we need he needs to draw a diamond which uh, one of these is connected to the diamond so the halls the steps So the halls are triangle and hash marks. Okay, so this guy is going over here to, yeah, he's gonna go there to depths of Yoth or steps of Yoth and then he's gonna come after us. All right, so we've got a turn before we have this guy come after us, and we don't. We uh, we're gonna have to go meet him. God, three down. We don't have a dodge either. Three damage and two horror. Yeah, this guy's terrible. Well, let's get our dog down. We're going to need him. We're going to need him to take a hit for us here. Um, now we could investigate. We'd have to go three. So we go four, five, six versus three. Or we just play our cherished keepsake. And then move back to the steps. Can we get there? Because this guy's going to attack us regardless. We have to deal with him. And we're going to have to do it. All right, I'm going to move back. Okay, so he will move during the enemy phase and hit us for three damage and two horror. So our cherished keepsake will take the horror for us. We will hit the guard dog for one damage and we will take two. And then we will add, he will take a damage because he attacked our dog. All right. Yeah, this is going to be tough. We need to hit him quite a few times. The chaos bag is still, I think the chaos bag is okay. It's only like maybe minus two. There's a couple minus threes, and of course that minus five. Uh, that was the enemy phase. We get another cherished keepsake. We go to the mythos phase, two of three, and we draw lost in the wilds, test three willpower. If you fail, you take a horror for each point you fail by and add lost in the wilds to your threat area. Yeah, you can split damage. I'm pretty sure you can. I don't think there's any... Uh, I don't think there's any rule against it. If so, I've been playing wrong for... Uh, we will look that up in a minute. I want to try to kill this guy first. Uh, Lost in the Wilds, three, test three, and we are a three, and we're going to take a horror for each point we fail by. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to need Cherish Keepsake, I think, so we'll just have to risk it. We get a tablet. 
Uh, let's reveal another token, and if we fail, place one of one clue on your location. Okay, so we have to reveal another token. Uh, top one, it is a minus two, so we are at one. So we take two horror. Ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, this could be, this is going to be very difficult to get out of it. This could be very difficult to get out of. Okay, so we are four, five, six versus five. Six health, man, we just can't... Uh, We can afford to take the damage, but the horror is not going to help us. Commit the cherished keepsake using cornered, so we go four, five, six with the meat cleavers. Five, six, seven, eight versus five. We get a zero. So we hit it for another damage. Two actions remaining. Uh, we commit this. Yeah, I can't kill him this turn. I cannot kill him this turn. Er, maybe I could. We'd have to take a horror with the guard dog. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, so we'll take a horror on us this turn. So we're going to do two damage. So we are going to go four, five, six, seven, eight versus five for two damage. Chaos bag says zero. So we hit him for two. And we're going to have to do it again. No, so far your your bad luck hasn't affected me, uh, Aegeus. It's uh, this is I've had to deal with this guy in this scenario in the past, and he's just a brute. He's very difficult. I'm going to have to use the guard dog because this guy's just going to kill me. This uh, he will kill me this turn. I think regardless. Yeah. So the guard dog has to go because I need to take a horror to do the damage to him. And then we're going to have to throw our look what I found to deal another two. So we're going to go or another two with corner. So we'll go eight versus three. Chaos bag says zero. So we managed to kill him. Who that is lucky. We had to gut our hand in order to do it, but we do kill the Eater of Depths. Fortunately, we will not have to deal with him uh, for the rest of the game, but we are uh, on very thin ice. We draw Take Heart. That could be helpful to... Uh, why do I have Yorick in my uh, threat area? There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, well, I would, if, if I had failed that skill test, I lose at that point, because he, uh, he would kill me during the enemy phase, for sure. That's why I got rid of the guard dog there, because I was going to die regardless. So we can, uh, we can, uh, no problem, crazy gamer. That's why we, that's why we play on stream, is so we, everybody can, uh, can learn. I'm, I'm sure you're not the only one out there who who had that uh, misconception that you can split the damage. It uh, comes in very handy. Uh, I know that I that uh, when I do my card reviews or streams or anything like that, I'm always fielding questions from players about, about rules. And uh, 
even uh, you know three and a half years into the game or whatever it is now there's there's still you know there seems to be so many new players who are joining the game that uh, that uh, they still have rules questions and I'm, I'm happy to answer them if I can so we need some more cards and we need to get a couple clues so we can get out of here um, The bridge is actually okay now because it's a two shroud location because we have no points in the vengeance display. Uh, as long as we don't take this clue at the city of serpents. So maybe we should go to the bridge over the Nakai first. All right, three of three. So we are advancing again. We are advancing to be, yeah, makes games easier. Don't make the game any harder on yourself than it already is. The uh, agenda 2B is Fountain of Venom. Find an enemy in the pursuit area. There are no enemies. Check your supplies. If that investigator has a canteen, we, oh, this is the one with the ooze, the black syrupy ooze. We don't have a canteen, so we're not going to worry about it. We have no supplies when you play in standalone. We advance to the next agenda, 3A Endless Caverns, and we haven't even gotten past uh, level one. Let's draw an encounter card. Curse of Yig. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Minus one combat, minus one help, health, and we get the serpent trait. We can get rid of it though, which is pretty good. We're a three versus two. So we can move to the bridge, can we not? Yes, we can. Yeah, if you play all, all of the all of the games, then you're gonna get it's easy to, to mix up rules. I know when I play Having played so much Arkham Horror LCG lately, when I switch back to, uh, if I play the Lord of the Rings LCG, it's I have to try to remember all the various rule changes, all the rules differences between the two games. They're very similar, but uh, but uh, they're also uh, there are quite a few differences that that you have to remember. Uh, we are going to investigate here. Two versus two, is that worthwhile? We could try to fail one on intentionally. That would give us some resources and cards. Yeah, let's fail one. Uh, let's add, we're gonna add, we're gonna trigger drawing thin to uh, to add uh, two to the difficulty of this. So we're going four versus two. So we are gonna fail it. Uh, we did draw a zero though, so we would have passed. But we will get uh, two cards, two resources from uh, drawing thin. And then we get another card or resource from, uh, or sorry, from take heart. Now we get another card from drawing thin. Okay, so that helped us replenish our hand a little bit. Uh, now we can try. We've got a lucky and we've got a cornered. So what can we pitch? Uh, we may want to, oh man. Too many good cards. Yeah, I'm, I I sort of want to get the Enchanted Blade down just because as good as Meat Cleaver is, it's not really that good when you've got five horror on you. So I need to figure out uh, if I can get the Enchanted Blade down, that would give us a little bit more flexibility in terms of fighting things. Uh... Let's go two versus two. We do have the lucky if we need it. That's a minus three. That's not going to be enough. 
and lucky will not help us in that situation. All right. We are struggling, to say the least, but uh, Depths of Yoth is the fifth scenario in the uh, Forgotten Realms or Forgotten Age cycle. So it's going to be naturally uh, a lot tougher than uh, something like uh, so much. Uh, it's going to be uh, much tougher than our first game. Uh, we are we draw a vicious blow, and I guess we're just going to go to the mythos phase. We will draw an encounter card. Ancestral Field, Peril and Surge. We have to place a Doom on your location and discard Ancestral Fear. Or place it in the victory display, and it's worth Vengeance 1. Um, I'm going to place a Doom. I don't want Vengeance in the Vengeance in the victory display. If I can help it. It surges into another Children of Valusia. Boy, we've seen... All of those, those are uh, pretty weak. No, I did not remember to heal a horror when I defeated the enemy. Uh, my light is trying to fall over here. Uh, no, I did not. That is a good point. I should uh, definitely heal a horror there for that when I defeated that eater. All right, uh, we need... We drew a children, okay. We have three actions. We need to grab this clue. Um, let's just try straight up. Skull, that's minus one. Okay, so we can, we can play a lucky to grab this clue. All right, we've got a clue. We've got two of three. We can go back to the, the steps and then over to, yeah, we have to do it that way, over to the City of Serpents. And we'll try to grab this clue next turn. We get a second wind. Okay, well that can that will heal a damage, but uh, or two damage if we uh, play it as our first action. Um, but we could also discard it for. Uh, so we are at three of four doom. Uh, no, I have not, Crazy Gamer. I haven't used any of the upgrades besides uh, for the dual class cards besides Grizzly Totem. Um, I do like the Enchanted Blade versions, and the uh, I do want to use the 45 Thompsons at some point because I think those would be very uh, that would be awesome. I think those are are quite fun as well. We get a Snake Scourge. This uh, is. Put it into play. If you are poisoned, it gains surge. We treat each non-weakness item asset as though it were blank. Okay, so we blank. Uh, our meat cleaver is blank. Um, hmm. What do we do here? We need to grab this clue and then we need to Yeah, I think I probably forgot a few things when I killed that eater. I probably should have been able to I should have played my uh my cherished keepsake back into play when I killed him. Uh, we are going to play this as our first action to heal two horror and or two damage and draw a card. We 
get a guard dog. Okay. Uh, we go two, three, four versus man. We just we just don't have the intellect that we need to. Uh, I'm going to play the guard dog. That'll give us a little more health and uh, a little horror we can deal with. And we need... If we pitch a card, we're only at four versus three. We really need a flashlight. Uh, we've got 15 cards. I'm going to draw a card. There's our weakness. Mob Enforcer. He will hit us for a damage during the enemy phase. Uh, we can hit him for... We can hit the dog and he'll hit the mob enforcer for one. So we can kill him in one shot next turn. Upkeep, we draw the flashlight. Okay, that's what we needed. We definitely needed a flashlight here to uh, do some investigating. We're going to draw... Actually, we advance because we are at four of four. Now things are going to get tougher. We are deep below the earth. Find the enemy in the pursuit. We have no enemies in pursuit. The lead investigator chooses one investigator to be the group scout. We check our supplies. If the scout has rope, we're able to climb up with ease. And the investigator suffers no ill effects. If the scout does not have rope, he or she must test five combat or agility. Otherwise, we if we fail, we take make it to the top but suffer a physical trauma. Ah, that's fine. The trauma doesn't uh, hurt us. We just draw a skull. No big deal. So that, uh, that whiffs. We are on Agenda 4A, City of Blood, Four Shroud location, or sorry, Four Doom Threshold, and we will need to draw an encounter card. There is a Pit Warden. If Yig is in play, spawn Pit Warden at Yig's location. Otherwise, place Pit Warden in the Pursuit area. So this guy is in the Pursuit area. So he is not going to chase us right now. We need to kill the mob boss. So we can take a horror with the... Um, yeah, this will work out nicely, because we can take a horror with the meat cleaver to get the two damage. Uh, so we are at four, five, six versus four. Six versus four, Chaos Bag says minus two. That will be enough. So we get to heal a horror for killing the enemy, and we get to trigger Yorick's response. And we will get the cherished keepsake back out. Which uh, reminds me, I have a relic hunter in there somewhere. I should have it on the table. I shuffled it into my deck, unfortunately. All right. So we killed the mob boss. We got. Uh, we were able to trigger our response to get uh, to get the cherished keepsake back on the table. That's going to be good. Gives us a little more flexibility. We need this clue, so we're going to play our flashlight. Are we doing okay as far as hand slots go? Yes, we are. Uh, we will. Then we will use the flashlight and we are going to commit. So that's a one. We're a one versus two. So now we're a one versus four. With cornered. And we get a zero. Okay. We finally get the third clue. 
So now we can go to depth level two next turn. This needs to be at the end of the round, right? Yes, at the end of the round. Okay. Nothing during the enemy phase. There's our police badge. That's nice to see. Uh, we go to Mythos. One of four. We draw an encounter card. There's Serpent's Ire. There are serpents in the pursuit area. We spawn it engaged with us. Uh, pursuit spawns engage with you. If the enemy is spawned by this effect, test X agility, or X is the enemy's fight value. That's four. So it's going to make an immediate attack against us. Uh, so we're going three versus four. We get a cultist. We reveal another token. Uh, so that will heal, the serpent will heal damage. That's not bad. Look at the top card. That's a skull, so that's a minus one. So we do fail. So he is making an attack against us. So we will take a damage and a horror. He will take a damage because we killed, we, he attacked our puppy. And that is that, I think. Yeah. Okay. What do we have in, uh, we've got two resources. Do we have anything? Do we have anything worth playing in? Our, we've got another cherished keepsake. just uh, play an asset. So we've got our track shoes, but those cost three and we only have two resources. Best we can do right now is the cherished keepsake, but we've already got one of those on the table. Okay, well, three actions. need to kill this guy. We can do it in two shots if we're... So we will add a horror. So we are hitting him for four, five, six. Seven versus four for three damage. Chaos Bag says, Tablet, reveal another token, and if we fail, we place a clue on our location. I hate all the re the uh, reveal another token ones. We get a zero. All right, so we do manage to kill this guy. We're doing okay against the enemies. It's the clues that we're, uh, we're struggling with. Uh, we could trigger our response, but we don't have any. Uh, we don't have anything in our discard pile that we can play. So we will move to the steps of Yoth. Let's try to get rid of this curse of Yig. Oh yeah, we were minus one. I totally forgot about that. That's right. Heal horror. That's important. And uh, thanks, crazy gamer. And. Uh, we were minus one, but uh, yes, thanks, Juicy. Uh, Crazy Gamer reminded me as well. Uh, let's get rid of this uh, Curse of Yig because it is giving us minus one. Uh, so we are at three. Is he worth... Oh, he's worth Vengeance. Oh, man. So that's going to be one Vengeance. Plus one difficulty for Vengeance. So we are at three, four, five versus three to get rid of this thing. Ah, and we draw a tentacle. So we do not get rid of the uh, Curse of Yig, unfortunately. 
However, our police badge is now in our discard pile, so if we kill another enemy, we can get it out of there easily enough. Well, it is the end of the round, or it will be once we advance. We draw a vicious blow. So at the end of the round, if the investigator at Steps of Yoth possesses the requisite number of clues, we may advance. So hey, look at us. We made it to level two, and it only took us 11 turns. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. So each investigator who is not at Steps of Yoth is defeated. We move each enemy in play to the pursuit area. We remove all doom from locations in play. Set aside each location in play and in the exploration deck aside, out of play. Uh, we draw a random and then, okay, so we just create another, basically recreate the exploration deck. Yeah, that's, it's true. There, there are a lot of triggers and, uh, it's one of my main beefs with the game as well is that if you're playing solo it's very hard to keep track of everything some games uh, so we need uh, we need all the locations so for level two we are going to start at we are starting at the forked path Two shroud location with two clues. When you explore while at forked path, check your supplies. If you have a map, um, we don't have a map, so that's irrelevant. Then we uh, shuffle these up and we draw four and then we shuffle the, the steps of Yoth back in. Sorry, Nathan, are you referring to me to buy the cards? Because I own two sets. I own two complete sets of the cards, if that's your concern. I just play on Octagon because it's easier. All right, we advanced. Anything else we need to do? Uh, we created a new exploration deck and we keep on going. Yeah, playing playing two-handed is is even. Uh... Hi Matt, welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Thank you very much. I'm uh, I enjoy making the videos, so I'm glad that uh, you enjoy them as well. Uh, that was the end of the turn. So now we are at. Uh... I guess we're at the mythos phase, aren't we? Yes, we are. Two of four. We draw another Pit Warden, so he is in the Pursuit area, and that is it. So now we have to continue on. I have never tried Tabletop Simulator, and I probably never will, because I've been using Octagon to play first the Lord of the Rings LCG and now Arkham Horror LCG. I've, I've used Octagon for, for years, and I know the system, and I like the layout, and uh, I know how to put the cards in. I can get the cards into Octagon, so when a new pack is released, it takes me... Uh, it takes me, you know, an hour to put a new pack in after I scan the cards, of course, and waiting for the cards to come to my door. So it's a lot easier for me to to uh, to create the image packs and whatnot. I've I've never used Tabletop Simulator and and probably never will. I have seen a few games where they have played uh, where they have. Uh, I've seen a few tabletop simulator games. I, d I haven't seen any recently, so I don't know how it's changed, but uh, I didn't really like the layout all that much. Uh, 
it seemed very hard for me to follow. I just prefer the, the basic layout of Octagon. It makes it a lot easier to see. So we have three actions. Let us draw. Uh, we need to get some clues. Hi, Marco. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Thank you very much. I'm going to I'm going to need it. I'm not too sure how many more uh, agendas to go before Yig shows up and just squashes me. So we're going to try to make it to level three at least here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need to investigate. Thanks, Juicy. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, we need to gain some clues and then we need to move. So we need two clues. Uh, we have two flashlight charges, but uh, I don't want to use both of them. The skulls are now minus two, so that's going to be a little tougher. Um, shoot. Yeah, York, I think, is just a tad slow for this. Uh... We can get flashlights back, though, can we not? Yes, we can. Okay, so I'm going to use the flashlight charge here. So we're going to go 2 versus 0. We get a minus 2, so that's a success. Let's do it again. We get a skull, that's a minus 2. So we grab both these clues. Let's go exploring. Uh, shuffle those up. And we get the, I don't know, is that a teardrop, a raindrop? That's, we're not connected to it either way. So let's go uh, crumbling. Yes, we are connected to the crumbling precipice, unfortunately. We will not be, uh, it will be unlikely that we will be exploring from the crumbling precipice anytime soon because that will kill us instantly. All right, uh, investigation phase, no enemies. We draw another police badge. That would be helpful to get down. We are at uh, three of four doom and we draw the Bathophobia test one willpower. This test gets plus X difficulty where X is the current depth. So we are at two. So it's a three or we take two horror, ouch. Uh, we are three versus three. Let's commit that police badge to go five versus three. Chaos bag says minus five. There is the minus five. So we are taking two horror. Uh, we will put one on the keepsake. Now, do we lose the dog too? That's the question. That's a tough decision. If I take it, we're kind of... Uh, I'm going to keep the dog. I hate taking it myself, but hopefully uh, if we can kill an enemy, we can get some of this stuff back. Unfortunately, we've just got too many things we need back from the discard pile at this point. We could use the, the police badge, the, the flashlight. Uh, we could use the... Uh, cherish keepsakes. Uh, that is the mythos phase. So we get three actions. We're going to have to move back and do some exploring again. Uh, Bright Canyon. We are connected to the Bright Canyon, so let's go there. It is also a two shroud location with two clues. 
And after we enter Bright Canyon, if you are poisoned, take a damage. We are not poisoned. We can check our supplies. If we have got binoculars, we can discover two clues. We don't have binoculars, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we will just, uh, we might as well investigate. Actually, what I need to do, I need to get that flashlight back. I need that flashlight back in our discard pile. So we can replay it. So I'm going to play my enchanted blade and dump that back in there. Enchanted blade has three charges. That gives us a little bit more flexibility than the, uh, the meat cleaver does at the moment. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of... There's a drawing thin that we can discard if necessary. Four of four. So we are uh, advancing again. If the harbinger is of Volusia is set aside, move it to the pursuit area. Yeah, this is where the, uh, the game is going to get a little tougher. Find the enemy that is in the pursuit with the highest evade value and spawn it at the location where the investigator began at this depth level. Highest evade value. It is going to be this, the Harbinger. Okay, we are... Yeah, that's probably going to be the game here. We cannot kill the Harbinger. It's going to be very difficult to do 10 damage to a Harbinger. Uh, if we can attack him twice, we can get rid of him. That's possible. Uh, so we're going to have to move in and hit him twice, or he will hit us for 2 damage and 2 horror, uh, which would kill us. So we will need to try to... Uh, we are on Agenda 5A, Fury That Shakes the Earth. After the third Doom is placed on this agenda, find the enemy in the Pursuit area and spawn it. It's got a Doom Threshold of 5. We have to go deal with the, uh, the Harbinger, but we have to draw an Encounter card first, which is going to be Bath... Oh, this could kill us right out here. Uh, current Depth 3 versus... We are a three versus a three. So we will commit the drawing thin. Uh, that's all we can do. Or we throw the vicious blow and then commit the drawing thin with cornered. That gets us three, four, five, six. Six versus three, Chaos Bag says zero, so we pass. So we don't die to the Bathophobia. Now we need to defeat the, uh, the Harbinger twice. So we will move, and he will engage us. So our combat is... Uh, we've got a three because we're we have the curse of yig. We will empower the blade, so we gain two. So we're at five versus three. This is uh, this is pretty much all we can do. We need to hit this guy twice, otherwise he will uh, simply kill us straight out. We get a cultist that is, I believe, a draw another token. All right, let's do that. Top card and, oh, oh, that's a minus two. Five versus three. There aren't three, but there aren't three, there aren't three vengeance points. So minus two, we were at a five versus three. Okay, so we hit him. Uh, we deal plus one damage, so he takes two damage. Whoops, not two clues, two damage. And we need to hit him one more time to get rid of this guy. Let's empower the blade. 
So we are, again, five versus three. Chaos bag says minus three. Boo. Okay, well, he vengeances or he uh, retaliates for two damage and two horror. Uh, the dog can take a damage and a horror. And he will take one. But then we take a damage and a horror and we die. Yes. Well, that was not great. That's not great. Uh, yeah, York's just a little slow for this, uh, this type of uh, scenario. A lot of uh, fairly high shroud locations and York uh, with a two intellect just doesn't have what it takes to... Uh, to investigate quickly enough. If we were able to investigate some of these locations, like we're on turn 14, we would have, uh, I think we could have probably gotten to three or even four if we could investigate quicker, but uh, we just don't have the intellect. And it took us a while to draw our flashlight. And I think both copies of, uh, both our copies of Look What I Fun found are, yeah, they're both in our discard pile. So, yeah, that, that's a tough scenario. It could, we can, I think we could have done better, but uh, I think it, that with this one in particular, I don't know what, uh, I'm just going to take a peek at all the locations here to see what the average uh, shroud value is. Uh, average, we got four, three, two, three, three, one, and X. So, yeah, the minus five is, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a tough scenario. I did pretty well when I played this with uh, Ursula, but Ursula has investigate uh, for days and she can really move quickly. She can investigate locations and then move right away. So she can really fly once she gets going. Uh, York with the two, you know, he's like, you've got a four shroud location, three shroud. There's really only three locations in the bunch that are very easy for him to deal with. And I mean, we've only got two flashlights and two look what I found. So unless we're able to get on a roll and be able to recycle those with our cards like uh, Resourceful and uh, York's, York's uh, response we're going to run out of tools in order to investigate fairly quickly uh, unfortunately we weren't able to really get the uh, the police badge recursion going uh, that would have given us a couple extra ap actions and uh, yeah maybe i'll play york and uh, carolyn together i'll probably play uh, carolyn by herself first just to get a better idea as to how she uh, she works Maybe I'll play Carolyn on Wednesday's uh, stream and see how uh, she goes. So it is, uh, we've been streaming for about two hours and 10 minutes. So I think I'm gonna call it uh, there. Thanks very much everyone for joining me today on today's stream. I'm uh, glad you could make it. Uh, if you did not make it, uh, hopefully you will, uh, or you missed some of it, you can uh, catch the, the VOD over at uh, YouTube or Twitch. Uh, it is uh, uh, www.youtube.com slash C slash The Whisper in Darkness. Or uh, you can also catch it on Twitch at uh, www.twitch.com slash Man from Lang. Uh, I will be streaming again on Wednesday, so I hope you will tune in, uh, tune in there. Thanks very much, Ben. Glad you could make it. Uh, and make sure if you haven't uh, done so already, head over to my Facebook page at the Whisperer in Darkness channel and uh, just uh, like the page because I do tend to uh, post my notifications of when I will be streaming uh, over there as well. So you can stay in touch with uh, what's, uh, what videos are coming up next. And uh, if you do have any uh, suggestions or decks that you would like to see played or investigators for that matter, make sure you uh, leave a, a post on my Facebook or uh, you can leave a comment on the video below or you can even email me at manfromling at gmail.com and uh, just let me know if there's uh, any particular investigator that you would like to see played. 
and uh, we will be back on Wednesday. So thank you very much, everyone, and uh, we will uh, we will give another shot at uh, Arkham Horror LCG. I hope you tune in then. When the stars are right. Oh, sorry, I'm uh, screwing up my own ending. Keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.